Hello everyone. Well, in this video, we are going to discuss that how you can validate the content of the response if you are receiving the response in the XML format. So for that, I will add one more test method here. Public void test XML content annotation at the rate test with this method. So the scenario remains same, only the acceptance criteria, criteria will change. So here I am going to accept the content in XML format. So first let me print the content in XML format at the console. So this will be replaced by dot then return dot as string. I am going to store this inside a string object. and print it on the console so this out xml data so let me run this script so this time it is going to print the data in the xml format at the console okay i forgot to change it to xml so this will be xml So this is the output. So as you can see here, we have a laptop as a root tag. Inside that we have a brand name as a tag, feature, ID and laptop name. So if I want to validate the content of brand name, I need to construct the path for the brand name field. So as discussed, we need to specify the path as laptop dot brand name because this is a nested tag which is present inside the laptop tag similarly if i want to validate the id i need to specify laptop dot id and similarly for the laptop name name so here i'm going to update the code so instead of using then returns, I will use then dot then dot assert that dot body. So the first thing which we need to validate is the brand name. So laptop dot brand name is the path. And its value is equal to then similarly i can add multiple field in the same method so laptop dot id comma equal to two not three and for the laptop name So this will be equal to latitude. So let me run this script and the script will get passed because we have provided the proper criteria. So as you can see here, our method is getting passed. Let me change it to del1 and this time our method should fail. So our test XML content method is failing with the assertion error. Now let's say I want to validate the feature also. Okay. So in order to access the feature, we need to construct the path as laptop dot features dot feature okay because it's the nested tag now similarly i can update my scenario to add the additional condition for the validation and for that i will use the end keyword so and the features should have 8 gb ram 
So this is one additional condition I am adding with our outcome for the validation. Okay, and then I can update the code in the similar manner. So in order to use the and, there is an and method available. So and, and then I can use assert that and again the body method. So using the and keyword, I am and appending one more condition for the validation. And from the code, we are using the and method to do that. So here I can simply add this. This is a path to our list. And as we know that this is a list, so we need to use the method has item. And the item is 8 GB RAM. Let me put a debug point over here and run this script in a debug mode. So create a get request, then assert the field which is coming in the response. And then assert for the features. So our test XML contain method is getting passed. So in this manner, you can validate the content of your response when you are receiving in them, when you're receiving them in XML format.